Hello everybody, we're producing herbal medicine from Swiss herbs, all organic herbs. We um, have a special procedure to produce them. It's the company it was founded by my dad and um, now we're doing it in the second generation. I'm a pharmacist and so now we're um, taking these Swiss locally grown herbs that are all organic of course. We cut them by hand, we uh, pick them, we choose them by hand, we process them very slowly all by hand with our special machines without any oxidation, very slow, without no heating. In the end the whole production process takes about three years uh, and in the end you're gonna have tinctures from herbs, Swiss herbs, that are very powerful and that have a new dimension of of, uh, of effect. There's not only the phytotherapeutic effect, like the active ingredients inside, there is also a homeopathic information part inside. But what there is new with there is there is this living thing inside. It's more like we call it the, the essence, the soul of the plant, which stays in the product and is even enhanced in strength. And this is leading to a new kind of medicine, which is more a psychological, it's more a, it's more it helps to it helps with with emotional psychological. emotional psychological problems and every physical problems problem is linked to a psychological emotional problem and more and more problems that we all the basic problems we have let's say infections and broken bones they can be fixed by our hospital medicine no but when it comes to stress burnout sleep disorders all these rhythm disorders then you need plants or a therapist, or combined. And these plants, that's... Um, uh, Solidago. Solidago, I don't know in English. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's a... Um, it's a beautiful plant. Yeah, it's golden rock. Golden rock, golden, golden rock. rock. There is a Canadian version of it. Yeah, but we use the Swiss version. Oh, okay. yeah. But it also grows in Canada. What would they use the golden rock for? Uh, this is um, for a kidney. For your kidney? This is for... Um, like we call it aquaresis or like diuresis or it's for kidney things but um, this is also a plant which is uh, very much linked to to uh, relationships it's a plant that uh, has a very interesting um, uh, we call it signature every plant has a signature I can very very quickly describe it in one little um, piece of information this is a book written by my parents which is um, Take the English one. The English one, there's the English one. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, I'm gonna talk to you about it with these two plants. Two very important liver plants. This is um, Cardus marianus or mother milk thistle. And you have the. Um, the dandelion, which you probably all know. These two plants are the most famous or most important liver plants. And now if you just look at the tincture, a bottle, it's just a bottle. It's the same, it's just active ingredient, it's this extract, no? But if you look at the plant, look at this plant and look at, at this plant. They are so different in appearance. And now already Paracelsus said that, that the signature of the plant, you can see on the signature, like on this, on this outer appearance, what it can be good for. And so you have these two aspects of the liver. The liver is, in one way, it is protecting us from outer, from, from substances that don't, shouldn't go in our body. But the liver is also the organ that is very agile. It's always renewing itself, it's changing. It can rebuild itself. So liver stands for both things. It, it stands for protection, which is more personalized by this plant, or also for motion, for living powers, for it, everything goes through the liver, no? We take up all the food through the liver, it's so much flow inside. There's also a lot of flow in this plant. And so when you have liver problems, you normally it's gonna be manifested by digestion problems, by weakness, by tiredness, by all these things. And it can have different reasons. Let's say the psychological reasons, because maybe someone cannot protect himself enough against influences from outside. And so depending on where the problem, the psychological background to your physical problem comes, these plants can have a different effect. So if you just have this tired person that, uh, that has stagnancy, yes. then you shouldn't, you can now with this description of the plants, you can give much a better, like a more direct, uh, you can have a link between the plant and the person. 
And so now you can basically, I always say you can say it through the flower. It's in German, sag es durch die Blume. You can say the, you can say something with a flower, no? Like this flower is like you, no? It can cope with stalled energies. It can break up um, very thick and uh, energy rich, rich soils. It can adapt to its circumstances. And you have a much better effect yes. because you have you have all the three effects. You have the physical effect of the tincture of this active ingredient, and you have the the mental, the spiritual effect of the plant and of the whole being. We want to bring nature and humans together like they used to be. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome, James. Right. Okay. Thanks for asking. Okay.